Since we first learned about the prisoner swap between Ely State Prison and High Desert State Prison right here behind me, just outside of Indian Springs about two weeks ago, Channel 13 has been reaching out to the Nevada Department of Corrections for more details on this swap. And Tuesday, we finally got some more answers. This is actually an email that we received from Nevada Department of Corrections. I took these new details directly to the residents of Indian Springs, just 11 miles down the road from High Desert. People I spoke with tell me it's a change they never wanted or expected. That I feel like they should have um, at least ask people in the community how they feel about that because how would they feel if somebody like that moved into their backyard? Residents tell me they're afraid of having these inmates so close to where they live and work. Not only do residents have concerns about the prisoner swap, we spoke with Paul Lunkwitz, the president of the union who represents state corrections officers. They certainly have not completed all that and we already have that population in place at High Desert. Lunkwood says he has issues with the facility, how they transported prisoners, and the proper training of these officers, in which he says he filed a complaint against the Corrections Department. So what did the Nevada Department of Corrections have to say about all this? In a statement, the DOC tells me, when it comes to safety of the facility, the recreation enclosures for maximum security inmates are made from expanded metal and welded shut. Also, the DOC tells me during the swap, there were two incidents of prisoners trying to attack each other. They say both were stopped and no one was hurt. As for training for the officers, we're told that all staff are properly trained and have experience. What this all means is that the High Desert State Prison is now maximum security. The DOC tells us this move has been in the works for months and was made because High Desert is newer has higher security, and was built to serve this purpose. Do you still feel safe here in Indian Springs? Well, I don't know now. I don't know. It kind of worries me, yeah. <laughs> now that the 2,000 prisoners have been swapped between state prisons, I reached out to the Nevada Department of Corrections to see if they'll have to swap any more prisoners. They tell me for safety reasons they can't say at this time. Reporting from the High Desert State Prison, I'm Ryan Ketchum.